Let's look at the growing case of buckthorn, an invasive plant that can be both bush and tree and is often hated and never loved. In Michigan, where I live, buckthorn is not to be confused with Ohio buckeye, which is equally hated, certainly by wolverines here who despise them. Common buckthorn is an ornamental plant that pioneers brought to North America from Europe in the 1880s for landscaping purposes. Buckthorn was popularized by the British for use in their hedgerows. In rural England, a hedgerow is the line of shrubs marking the property line between one estate and the next. You may know the song Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin, but I bet you didn't know that Robert Plant was singing about buckthorn when he sang, if there's a bustle in your hedgerow, don't be alarmed now. Common buckthorn is hated because trying to tackle the problem often feels like a losing effort, sort of like playing the Buckeyes in football. No matter how hard you try, buckthorn seems unstoppable. It's super aggressive, downright dastardly in its determination to grow everywhere and become a monoculture and become the only plant left standing. Buckthorn has several identifying features. Their leaves are oval shaped with a sawtooth or serrated edge and prominent veins that curve as they approach the leaf tip. Buckthorn leaves are noticeably dark green, especially in the late fall. When all the other trees and shrubs have dropped their leaves, you can easily spot buckthorn because it stays green long after all the others. Another feature is its berries, which mature very late in the season. They are green initially, but when they ripen, they become a very dark purple, almost black in color. They are not, however, berries you eat. These berries produce seeds which are not easily digested. When eaten by birds, they act like an extreme laxative, causing birds who eat them to poop them out everywhere, helping to spread the seeds long distances. Buckthorn also has very pointy spikes. They look like thorns, hence the name and the sapwood underneath the bark is yellow with a distinctive orange heartwood. Twig ends have a pair of terminal buds with a small thorn between them. Nurseries stopped selling buckthorn in the 1930s, having recognized the destructive nature of this invasive plant. It has since become a major problem in upper Midwestern states like Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin, because it grows so super aggressively. Buckthorn outcompetes native plants for nutrients, light, and moisture. Buckthorn also degrades wildlife habitat because it dominates the landscape, reducing the diversity needed in forested areas. And buckthorn serves as a host for oak crown rot and alfalfa mosaic virus, as well as pests like soybean aphid. And with its thorny structure, buckthorn makes it difficult to walk through wooded areas. So let's get rid of buckthorn. Not an easy proposition. Managing buckthorn requires extreme patience and a lot of time. In many places, buckthorn looks like out of control shrubbery, thick bush-like plants that become so extreme that it essentially becomes an impenetrable layer of vegetation that lacks natural controls like insects or disease. If left unchecked, Buckthorn chokes out all the other native plants and threatens the natural beauty of the countryside. So what to do? In the words of the band Metallica, search and destroy. Realize that buckthorn management will take countless hours of manual labor and years of monitoring. One stump alone can sprout 10 new growths and seeds can stay active and germinate for up to five years. Removal requires a whole forest approach, addressing seedlings, saplings, and adult trees all together in a labor-intensive effort to eliminate this beastly bully. Buckthorn can be removed using mechanical and chemical treatments, but realize these treatments often provide only temporary control due to the plant's ability to re-sprout and regrow. If you have buckthorn, start with the small seedlings first. 
Pulling them out of the ground by hand exposes their mesh-like root system. Smaller saplings may require gardening tools like shovels or weed wenches to pull them loose from the earth. Herbicides are often suggested, but there are ways to get rid of buckthorn without chemicals. Cut or chainsaw buckthorn down to a short stump, then cover those stumps with a coffee can or black plastic or a tarp to eliminate sunlight. Some people try controlled burning, but the ultimate organic solution to reduce heavily infested buckthorn areas, you could raise goats, which will enthusiastically eat buckthorn and its seeds. Bad plants. I hope you've enjoyed what I've shared about buckthorn. Please subscribe to my channel to follow more cases of invasive species. And as always, thanks for watching.